Hey everyone, Deltran Live here. So we're continuing StarCraft Mass Recall. This is a Brood War campaign remake in StarCraft 2. So last time we finished up Lumines, which is a precursor campaign, and now we're gonna get get right into it. Into what you guys most most people consider the first campaign in StarCraft Rebel Yell. So let's start campaign. High Orbit, Confederate Border Colony, Chow Sara. See you think, Jim. Well, hold on. I swear, it's always some damn thing. Wait, got it. Ah, hell, this thing ain't gonna hold. Shut up. Damn, you're ugly. You girl strapped in nice and tight now. Hatter, your mama. <laughs> That's a good one, man. You got for me out there, Joey Ray. We got terror for sure. I don't know about the risk. We got a big old buttload of floating debris out here. We hit painters this time for sure. Explain to me how we're gonna get all this home. I'm detached and moving toward the derelict spacecraft. Damn it, Jim. Video's out again. Well, quit picking at it. I ain't picking at it, damn it. I'm out here with a hitch of my game up in here and there. I'm in your deck. I'm in your deck. I'm in your deck. I'm in your deck. That's the stuff. Good old StarCraft 1 cinematics. <laughs> it's awesome that the Mass Recall team were, were able to get those in here, though. So, boot camp, Office of the Colonial Magistrate, Marsara Colony. So, just heads up, I will not be playing the boot camp, uh, as it's just a repeat of the boot camp in Lumens. So, if you guys want, really want to watch that, just go ahead. I'm going to go straight into Wasteland. Terran Campaign, Rebel Yell. In the decades since the end of the Guild Wars, the impressive Terran Confederacy has stood unchallenged in its supremacy over colonized space. All that changed four days ago when a large alien fleet emerged from warp space and laid waste to the unsuspecting co Confederate colony of Chow Sara. The Confederacy, fearing that the alien fleet's next target will be the colony of Marsara, has sent you to intervene. Acting as magistrate, you are to safeguard the colonists and keep their state of panic from escalating any further. So basically... <laughs> Chalsar was obliterated, and now we're going to Marsar <laughs> to protect the colonists when we should just be evacuating everyone. Welcome to Marsara, Magistrate. The equipment demonstration you requested is prepared and may be initiated at your convenience. Simply select Start to begin the demonstration. You may skip the demonstration by selecting Skip Tutorial. Okay, we're going to be skipping this again if you have not seen my Lumines bootcamp. Watch that. It's basically the exact same thing. We have to do the exact same stuff. Whenever you feel you and are ready, you may select Start. It's, the only difference is that we were playing on Chalsar, and this is going to... This, if I played it, would be on a sp space platform above Marsara. So let's go ahead and skip. and get right into Wasteland. Office of the Colonial Magistrate, Marsara Colony. So I'm really excited to get into the, the Rebel Yell campaign. At 
Washington Town Line. Good evening, Magistrate. I'll fill you in on what's been happening. Confederate traffic has increased substantially within the system due to the recent protoss destruction of the Chow Sara colony. The Confederates have tightened security on all outlying systems, and it's likely that this colony will be locked down as well. An encrypted Confederate transmission came for you while you were at dinner. Replaying transmission. Greetings, Magistrate. I'm General Edmund Duke of the Confederate Security Forces Alpha Squadron. The Confederacy has quarantined this entire planet, and we'll proceed with a lockdown within 48 hours. You're to relocate your core colonists to the outlying wastelands. Now, I know there won't be any problems with these new arrangements. Transmission ended. I have contacted the local marshal, James Rayner. Rayner has agreed to meet your personnel en route and escort them to the new wasteland site. Good old Jimmy. All right, let's get started. We're going to be playing as the Confederate forces. There's no difficulty selection in this mission. But I will be playing on hard and I am using the retro mod. Just awesome cinematics. Going into the wasteland. First Colonial Infantry Regiment, Marsara Wasteland. It's pretty awesome. We're taking like our whole like colony here with us. Sweet. First of all, you'll notice that we're playing with the retro mod. We have custom models. New intel available. So these are going to pop up each time we go to a different planet and meet a different hero character, per se. So you definitely read this. I do like the portrait for Edmund Duke. So you guys can pause the video and read it if you like. We have a couple Marines, some SCVs. So let's get going. Just really cool models. Go, go, go. Howdy, boys. I'm Jim Rayner, Marshal of these parts. Good old Jimmy. This is Jimmy. Jim Rayner must survive. So this is our first introduction to Jim Rayner. So again, read this as you're at your leisure, and also it's just uh, very interesting. Each unit has their own unit description, and I believe these are taken from the the original StarCraft manual. So, just really neat. So we have some spider mines. I guess we can explore a little bit. Just admire the, the terrain on this map. Let's get going. Oh, there are quite a few units, actually. Just repair. Rainer. And we should be just fine. Our base is under attack. Is under attack. <laughs> Let's get down there before that one zergling kills all of our units. Oh, we got some other other zerglings going in. Let's go ahead and start mining. Hockey our our stuff, and then we can let's just go exploring with Jim. Let's lay some spider mines. Let's might as well. This this mission is basically an extension of the. The tutorial, the boot camp tutorial. I don't know why they just <laughs> didn't just put it into one mission, but that is okay. All we have to do is build the barracks, and we already have enough SCVs for that. We can just Jim Rayner can annihilate these these Zerg. Oh, there's quite a there's a Hydralis here. All right, Marines. If I lost this, I would be very very upset. <laughs> oh, that's 
quite a lot of stuff. We cannot kill it, that all that stuff with Jim Rainer. Let's bring him back to base. Let's build the barracks. And that's and then we just have to train Marines. I guess let's go explore over here a bit. With this number of Marines, we should be just fine. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, that's also... So each time your hero goes less than like 50%. That was just our Spider-Man killing his Ergolene. Each time... He goes under... Well, a little way like 75%. It will show that heroes taking damage. Which is pretty neat, actually. Because in StarCraft 1, if your hero dies, you lose the mission. <laughs> So we just we keep exploring though. Kill these unidentified creatures. Infantry units such as Marines can be trained at this facility. I kill some Marines. No, I never knew there were some minerals up here. Marine counter activated. Let's just build some Marines. Why not? You guys just stay at home, protect the base. Base is under attack. What do we got now? Two Zerglings. Try not to lose. All right, you pull back. Rainer, get up there. Get up there, buddy. I'm just trying to <laughs> trying to make this more mission more interesting than it is. <laughs> this is exploring a bit. We only need three more Marines. There are quite a few Zerg on this map. I don't know. I do not remember. I wonder if we can fit over here. I do not remember if in the original StarCraft 1, if the Zerg actually attacked you or not. Base is under attack. Okay, kill that one Zergling. I kind of want to explore the entire map. So let's build one more Marine. Let's check up here. And uh, there's quite a bit of stuff here. Should probably heal Jim Rayner. Let's check. There are quite a bit of stuff over here. Let's pull some out. It's taking damage, yes I know. So they might, they very well might be spawned. Alright, let's just build Marines and end this. <laughs> because if Jim Rayner dies, yeah, they gotta be spawned. Okay, we explored the entire map. Let's get back to base. And let's, let's end this. We did lose one Marine. <laughs> one or two Marines, I think. <laughs> but really cool. So this may very well be like... I don't know if they're actually spawned or just, those units are targeted to attack you at a certain time. Sweet, we got the rest of the colonists, the cinematic showing the rest of our colonists moving in. Ah, oh, poor Marine, we did lose one. Oh, two Marines, okay. Well, we did kill, oh, no, we did kill every single identified creature. So, pretty happy about that. And the next time, next, next time, I'll be playing the next mission. Hope you guys join me then. Again, this has been Deltron Live. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye, everyone.